Good morning students. In last class, we learned verb tenses. So, today we are going to learn irregular verb. What is irregular verb? Okay. Verb tenses, uh, we learned there are three basic tenses. Past tense, present tense and future tense. So, today in irregular verb, here uh, there are two forms of verb. Okay. One is a regular verb and another one is irregular verb. What is the regular verb? And what is irregular verb? Wait, I'll check. Okay. Uh, mostly in grammar, there are fixed certain fixed rules. Okay, the the verbs which follow those rules is known as regular verbs, and the verbs which don't follow this rule is known as irregular verbs. Okay, in regular verbs, we will add ed, d, i, e, s when we change a verb into past tense. But in irregular verbs, we will change the entire word. Okay. When a verb is changed into past, the entire word is changed into another word in irregular verb. For example, example for regular verb is walk. Okay, what's the past tense of walk? Yes, walk. W A L K A D. Walk. So when you change walk into past, we will add E D. So whether any changes only E D is added. Okay, so it is known as regular verb. Then, uh, what is the past tense of think? Whether it is think? No, it is thought. So, the entire word is changed. When the tense is changed, okay? So, th think comes under irregular verbs. The verbs which follow grammatical rule is known as regular verb. And the verb which won't follow this rule is known as irregular verb. For regular verb, uh, we will add ed, d, I E S when it is changed into past tense. For irregular verbs, the verb is totally changed into another word. Okay. So, in regular verb, we will follow the rules when we will change the verb into another tense. That is past or present or future tense. Okay. Here past is given. So, uh, in regular verbs, regular verbs follow rules by changing the tenses. So, for example, So, for example, uh, for regular verbs, we will add E, D, D, I, E, S while changing a verb into past tense. Hmm? So, what is regular verb? The regular verbs are the verbs. Those follow the rules in grammar while changing their tenses. Uh, changing their tenses. For example, in regular verbs, we will add E, D, D and I, E, S when we change the verb into past tense, okay? So, this is regular verbs. So, walk, walk, talk, talk, okay? So, some verbs won't follow the fixed rules, okay? So there are some verbs which won't follow the rules. Uh, they change on their own, okay? The verbs which won't follow the grammatical fixed rule is known as irregular verbs, okay? So, some verbs which won't follow the fixed rule is known as irregular verbs. So, in irregular verbs, the verb will 
change into other word. Okay, the word will change into another word. Okay, so in irregular verb, the verb is changed into another word while we convert it into past tense. So, entire verb changes when tenses changed. Okay. So, in irregular verbs, there are some verbs which won't follow any grammatical rules. Okay? So, those verbs are known as irregular verbs. The verbs which follow the rule is known as regular verb. The verb which won't follow the rule is known as irregular verb. For regular verb, we will add, we will simply add ed, d or ies when it is converted into past tense. In irregular verb, the entire verb is changed while changing the tenses. That is, example is think, the past tense is thought. Okay, think is another different word, thought is different word. Okay, so uh, think is changed into thought while changing the tenses, past, change into past tense. So, think comes under irregular verb. So, irregular verbs. For regular verbs, we follow fixed rules when changing their tenses. For example, we add ed, d or ies to the regular verbs in the past tense. However, there are some verbs called irregular verbs which do not follow fixed rules. The entire verb changes when the tense is changed. Given below is a list of some irregular verbs. So, given, uh, they are given a list of words, okay, irregular verbs. For B, for the past tense, it is changed into was or were. In present, is am or are. Future will be. Have. In past, it is had. Present has or have. Future will have. Eat. In past is eight. It's not eater. It is eight. Present eat. Future will eat. Write. Past is a road. Present a write. And future is will write. Sleep. Past slept. Present is sleep. Future is will sleep. Cut. Past is cut. Present is cut. Future is will cut. Here also there, will be, there won't be any changes also. Okay. The verb become the same word. Okay. Put think. Past is thought. Present is think. And future is will think. Slay. Sing. Past is sang. Present sing. Future will sing. See. Past is saw. Present see. And future is will see. Put. Past is put. Present also put. And future is will put. Make. Past is made. Present make. Future will make. Bring. It's brought. Bring. Past is brought. Present bring. And future is will bring. So, the topic is irregular verbs. Small topic is irregular verbs. Um, the verbs which follow the grammatic rule is known as a regular verb. The verbs which won't follow those rules is known as irregular verb. For regular verb, simply we will add ed, d, i, e, s. Um, simply we will add d, e, d, i, e, s while converting those verbs into past tense. In irregular verbs, the, verb, the word itself changed when tenses changed. In some cases, the word becomes the same word. That is, for example, cut, put. For put, the past is put itself. Likewise, for cut, the past is cut. So, um, these are the two forms of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. So, next we saw some uh, list of verbs. Okay, List of irregular verbs. How the verbs have changed into past and present. So, the next topic is paragraph writing. So, next topic is paragraph writing. What is mean by sentence? A 
The sentence means a group of words which are arranged in a proper order which forms a correct meaning. So, so many sentences join together and form a paragraph. Part of also, the sentence should be in the correct order or else we won't get the meaning of a paragraph. If in a story, uh, there are five lines in a story in the sense, if the lines are jumbled means whether you understand the story? No, you won't understand the story. If, if a sentences are arranged in a correct order in the sense, that is known as a perfect paragraph. Then you can easily gain the meaning of those paragraph by reading very well. So, paragraph is a set of sentences which gives us information about a specific topic. Okay. So, paragraph means it is a set of sentences arranged in a correct order which gives us a information about a specific topic. Paragraph means it's a set of complete sentences. They are arranged in a proper order. If you read those sentences, you will get the correct information about the correct the specific topic. Next, we are going to see what are the steps we need to remember to write a perfect paragraph, a good paragraph. Okay, so you need to remember these steps while writing a paragraph. So there are four things to remember. Okay, the first one is there should be a topic or title. Surely the paragraph should have a topic or a title. That is first one. The second one is the sentences should be complete. Okay, they should be complete sentence. The sentence won't be incomplete. If the sentence is incomplete in the sense, you won't uh, get the meaning. Okay, so the sentence should be complete sentences. The sentence should be complete sentence. Okay, next, next one is all the sentence. Uh, whatever you write, the, it should be related to the topic. There are four steps to remember before writing a paragraph, okay? So, first one is, surely the paragraph need a title or a topic, okay? The first one. Second one, all the sentences you write should be related to the topic. It won't be related to another topic, okay? It should be related to your own topic, your given topic, okay? The next one is, the sentence should be complete sentence. It won't be incomplete. If the sentence is incomplete, means you won't understand anything. So, the sentence should be complete one. So, next one is, you should write at least 5 to 7 lines, okay? 5 to 7 lines in a paragraph. If you write 3 or 4 lines, means it won't be a paragraph. Surely, you need to write 5 to 7 lines, okay? So, paragraph means, paragraph means it's a complete sentence. a group of complete sentences arranged in a correct order to make, uh, to get this information about a specific topic. So, there are some points you need to remember while writing a paragraph. So, the four, four steps, okay. Four things we need to remember is first one is the paragraph should contain, the paragraph must contain a title or a topic. Next one, the paragraph, the sentences in a paragraph should be related to the topic. The sentence should not be irrelevant. You should write proper related life sentences Next one is, the sentences should be complete one. It uh, should not be incomplete sentences. If it is incomplete means you won't understand the paragraph. Next one is, you should write at least 5 to 7 lines in the paragraph. Don't write 3 to 4 lines in the paragraph. Just try to write 5 to 7 lines. If it contains 5 to 7 lines in the sense, we will tell it is a paragraph. So first one, it should contain title or topic. Second one is all the sentence should be related to the topic. Third one. Third one is all the 
sentence should be complete. Last one. Last one is the paragraph should contain 5 to 7 lines. So the first point is title. The paragraph should contain a title or a topic. Second one is a sentence should be related to the topic. The third one is sentence should be complete. Don't write incomplete sentences. Last one is it should contain five to seven lines. Okay. Next we are going to see a format of a paragraph. So the title is all about me. Okay. So the title is all about me. Then the body. Okay, there is detail. Okay, that is my name is Kirti and I live in Ahmednagar. I study in grade 6 at Kendriya English School. I enjoy reading stories to my little brother and I love writing poems as well. These things make me happy but people throwing garbage on the streets makes me angry. I also dislike sitting in one place for a long time. When I grow up, I want to become a famous poet. So the title is All About Me. Okay, next one, the body. Body, the body is the details about the topic is mm, My name is Kirti and I live in Ahmednagar. I study in grade 6 at Kendriya English School. I enjoy reading stories to my little brother and I love writing poems as well. These things make me happy but people throwing garbage on the streets makes me angry. I also dislike sitting in one place for a long time. When I grow up, I want to become a famous poet. So in this paragraph, there consists of a title. The title is all about me is the title of the pass of the paragraph. The next one is uh, what's the first point? First point, it should have a title or a topic. Whether this paragraph has a title? Yes, it has a title. The title of the paragraph is All About Me. Okay. Second point. All the sentence should be related to the all the sentence should be related to the topic. So if I have read a passage, whether those sentences relate to the topic. Yes, all the sentences are related to that girl Kirti, okay? That uh, girl Kirti. So, uh, the title is all about me. That is, Kirti is telling about herself. So, all the sentences are related to the topic. Next one is, all the sentence should be complete. All the sentence should be complete. Whether uh, you uh, found any incomplete sentence in this passage? No, all the sentences are complete and correct one. So, it is for fourth one. It should have at least five lines. How many lines are there in this passage? This passage has seven lines, okay? So, this passage fulfills all those four main points. So, today we learned two topics, okay? The first one is irregular verb and the second one is paragraph writing. So, in first one, irregular verbs. There are two kinds of verbs. One kind is a regular verb and another one is irregular verbs. So, what is regular verbs? What is regular verb? Yeah, regular verb means the verb which follow grammatical rules. Irregular means, yes, it won't follow any rules, okay. Uh, in irregular verb, uh, we will add ed, d, i, e, s while changing the verb into past tense. Okay? So, uh, for, for example, walk is, the past tense of walk is, what is the past tense of walk? What is the past tense of walk? Yeah, the past tense of walk is walk. Simply we will add ed to the, say, to the word, verb, okay. Next step, in irregular verb, the verb is completely changed into another word while the tense is changed, okay. So, think, what is the past tense of think? It is thought, okay. Another word is thought. So, next verb, we will learn some list of words, okay. For the second topic, the second topic is paragraph writing, okay. What is my 
paragraph. A paragraph means a complete set of sentences arranged in a particular correct order which forms a, uh, which gives a information about a specific topic that is paragraph. So while writing paragraph, what are all things we need to keep in mind? Yeah, we need to remember four points. First one is the title, the paragraph should contain a title or a topic. Next one is the sentences should be related to the topic. Should not write irrelevant sentences in a paragraph. Okay. Should write proper sentences, relevant sentences. Next one is sentence should be complete. We should write complete sentence. Always try to write a complete sentence. If you write any complete sentence means you won't understand the paragraph. Next one is it contains five to seven lines. The last line is we should write con the paragraph should contain five to seven lines. Okay. The format of a paragraph. Okay. For format of a paragraph. The title is all about me. The title is all about me. And the body of the paragraph is um, my name is Kirti and I live in Ahmednagar. I study in grade 6 at Kendriya in Kiloshi School. I enjoy reading, to, reading stories to my little brother and I love writing poems as well. These things make me happy but people throwing garbages, garbage on the streets makes me angry. I also dislike sitting in one place for a long time. When I grow up, I want to become a famous poet. Okay? So, in this sentence, the total four points are fulfilled. Okay? We follow this four point in a correct order in this sentence. So, so let's wind up today's class. Okay? Next class, we can learn uh, other two topics. So, I hope you understand today's topic. So, thank you children.